good day a few of you had requested that I redo the video and show you guys more in depth and step by step as to, to change your your agency login and customize the sub account. Have this is my agency logo and then you have we're gonna change the sub account logo and then just change some of the colors and you'll see that. So I'm gonna just paste the code in, you'll get to see the final product. I'll show you step by step. This was really easy. Once you see how I did it. You'll be amazed. Let me just move everything and show you what I'm about to show you right now. As you can see, the unique sub account logo is gone and all the customization is done. And now, here's the markdown folder that I'm going to be hosting here. And all you have to do is copy it. And if you just Google markdown preview websites, um, but this is this is one that I'm using called markdownlivepreview.com. You'll just paste everything you'll get. First of all, we're going to use this open source tool called Live CSS Editor. You can either self-compile it by going to their GitHub page, going through their Google Chrome extensions. These are the links up here. And then we're gonna use this website, that's gradient.io, to just pick beautiful colors that we can use to customize the dashboard login page. Now, I need to thank some people, some channels on YouTube where I've gotten this information from. The customized sub account, please go visit Go High Level Daily. This is their link address. Is, he was pleasant and kind enough to actually share that the secret was putting the sub account location ID as a class to point the changes that you want to happen in that sub account. The channel was called Growth Co Marketing, and then other sites that he is code customize your login page. First, I'm gonna open this up. It's gonna get activated. Let's just say I wanna change the color right here. Right click. Now, most of the time, it'll give you several different options. But for that, it just gave me one. If I click here and I type in background color purple, and then you see that there's color purple. And the website that I told you about, csgradient.io, sure, there's other websites. But the reason I like this website is that it just it gives us, in my opinion, beautiful, nice colors that we can easily use. For instance, I like this. All I'm going to do is copy the seats right there. And then if I put this here, you see it changes that color. I'm going to show you how to remove that for CSS. And I call it display none. Now, that should have gotten rid of it. Okay, just learn. Oh, maybe I need to activate the code. That's if you do not put the location right here as a class, then this is going to affect all the sub accounts. If you just want it to affect one sub account, put the class as a location, and then it won't prevent removing that pop up and other sub accounts. But if you're like, I don't want no one to see it, this will prevent that from showing up anywhere. And we're using display none. Where do you put all of this code? Now, you can now that you the basics, you can play around with all of these different features and just choose the area that you want to change and the color that you want to use and it'll have it. Now where, and then this is the local agency logo and then on the content URL, this is where you would put the URL of the image where you're storing it. But here's what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this control C to copy. I'm going into the agency account settings, company, we are in company, we are in company right here, which is where you would put custom JavaScript. Now we're only dealing with now other information in here that's why it doesn't have this. Let's notice this is custom JavaScript, but usually if you have nothing there, it's custom CSS. This is where you just want to paste everything that I just copied over and then hit update. And now I'm going back into that sub account. And as you can see, it has changed. And yet it's as easy as clicking on the extension, choosing where, you know, what you want to change. For instance, I did a calendar. I didn't do anything with the calendar, but let's say I wanted the back to be changed here. Just through this, a background. Color blue, and there you go. It changes it. Now let's see if it changes Thursday or next week or not. But yes, that was very specific to that date, but we can see perhaps maybe getting rid of this class. But see, that applies it to every single one and then to every week. You can play around for this, and then if you wanted to see what other options there are, just Google CS options, and there's a whole bunch. But I'm doing something very simple as far as the now coming back here let's see now here i'm gonna do the same thing just copy all of that copy and then go back into company and go back in and all i'm going to do is just paste and hit update and now uh, i'm going to go into my agency login page and what you'll see in you know, it, it looks a little bit different than the normal login page for go high level but of course you can customize it to do anything that you want 
just use this too. If you have this website for the colors and if you want to add stuff, there's other websites that teach you about CSS. And all you have to do is come into your agency main site, click on settings, then company, and then the second box right here says uh, custom CSS. And just plop that CSS in there. And of course, you can play with all these different options to see what they don't do. Yeah, it is that simple. It's not what I've done is very simple, but of course, you can do anything that your heart desires that you want to do and change right here i for every sub account i change the font size here looks bold and bigger you can change family size just that you want to do or not this was just a demo account i wanted to show you and again i'll be pasting this markdown file and then you want to use this site or any other site just in here and then all you'll do is oh yeah here's the font size that i changed for the nav title, navigation title, the site title. Here is the where you can customize your sub account, customize the login page. Of course, you can do anything that you would like. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, I'm not a designer, far from it, but I just wanted to show you if you wanted to customize at least the local for each of your clients. I, long, for a long time, I wanted to do that. I'm thankful and glad the, that it was that this individual right here. Let's see, where is it? Go high level daily showed me this and i'm just sharing what he showed and he knows a lot more than me please visit 10 the growth co-marketing individual sharing about the log age